We're now going to take a look at adding text fields to the form for our Contact Us page. And I have a form tag presently on the page. I have not filled in an action attribute for this form because I don't yet know that. Dreamweaver is going to assign it a method of post and I added the form tag name. What I'm going to do now is within this form area, start building my form. And one of the first things I want to add is something known as a field set. And it's a handy way to differentiate pieces of data within your form. So we're going to add a field set piece to this before we add any fields. And to do that, I'm going to go up to this icon up in the Forms tab of my Insert Bar, and it's right after what looks like ABC, and it's this one here called a Field Set. I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and it gives me the opportunity to add a legend, which I'm going to do. And I'm going to say Personal Information. Hit Enter or Return. And it's somewhat hard to see what's going on here, but I'm just going to put my cursor after that and hit enter or return. Now that will show up in the browser, but let's get a couple of text fields added. A text field is the most common type of form field. What it is is a single line box for the user to insert information. And because it's so common, it immediately follows the form tag itself in the Forms tab. So the first one was creating the form, and then all the rest of these are the fields that can go inside that form. So I'm going to click on Text Field, and Dreamweaver is going to give me some dialog boxes that you'll soon get very familiar with, but this is going to be the Name field. And I'm just going to say name in lowercase as the ID. The label is what the user is going to see. So the name ID here is for CSS. So we can reference this specific tag on the page, but the label the user will see. So I will say name with a capital N for them. Now I'm going to attach the label tag using the for attribute. That is the recommended way to work with text fields, and it's because the label is this. And if it's a screen reader trying to fill out the form, or a user using a screen reader trying to give the screen reader instructions to fill out the form, we will end up with a box of content and we'll end up with some text. And what the for attribute does is match up the text with which box it is on the page. If a user can't visually see the page, it gets very difficult for them to know, here's some text, what box does it match up with, and the box is what they need to enter their information. So I'm going to be using that for all of my text fields. I'll click OK, and there's our field. Here is my label, and if you notice, down in the Tag Selector, you'll see it definitely says Label. If I click on the box, you'll see it says Text Field. So if I didn't like what I named it, this is where I could change it. This also becomes a part of the ID. The Character Width, you can see, I tend to think this runs around 20 to 25 characters by default. But what you're going to want to do is set this. And I'm going to set this, since it's a name, to 50 characters. 50 characters should be long enough for the user to be able to enter their name into that field. Now, just because I set 50 here, it doesn't mean it's going to stop them at character 51. So I also want to make that the maximum characters. Now, just in case 50 isn't enough, I can use a different value in the Max Characters field. So I'm going to do that. So there is our Name field. Let's add one more. I'm going to put my cursor at the end and hit Enter or Return. This time I'm going to click the text field one more time. We also want to get 
their email information. So the ID will be email. The label will be email as well. Now it's up to you if you want to add email address. I tend to find most people drop the word address nowadays because people understand what it means. But I'm going to attach that using the for attribute. Click OK. I'll select this box of content to get my text field information down in the properties area. Now an email address usually needs to be a little wider. So what I'm going to do is set this to 60 and 60. Now I set character width to 50 on the name and 60 on email. And now you can see what character width does. It specifies how big the box looks in the browser. So we have that piece set up. Let's save the page and we'll go look at it in the browser. First of all, I'll look at it in Internet Explorer. Now you can see there's this little line surrounding the content and personal information has kind of divided up these two fields so the user knows this is personal information. Then I can move into what other other kinds of information we want to capture on the form. But this is the field set and the legend piece allows you to add text over that line on the very top piece of it. So field set and legend are these two, the line and this text over the line. Then we have our name and email fields. That's what it looks like in Internet Explorer 8. I'm going to go down now to Firefox. Let's take a look. You'll find each browser does tend to make these look a little bit different. So you can see this field set square is a little bit darker. It sets off the fields a little bit easier. And the personal information is kind of sitting in the middle of that line. So that's Firefox. We'll take a look at Safari here. And in Safari, you can see it looks very similar to Firefox. And the last one we have is Google Chrome. Let's see what it looks like in Google Chrome. You can see those look somewhat similar. Now you may have noticed that there are square corners in some browsers and curved corners in others. And that's not something you can adjust too much. Browsers have their default view, although there are some properties of your form you can use CSS styles to style. But we just added two text fields, a field set and legend surrounding those within our form tag using Dreamweaver. And you can see that wasn't too hard to do. We'll style it once it's complete. I always wait till the end to do that. But we've started our Contact Us form for our Contact Us page at Wanderlust Travel, adding a form tag that now contains a field set in legend, as well as two text fields within the form.